Hey guys and welcome back to my world. So I've been working on a new sneak mechanic for um, uh, an adventure, adventure map I've been working on for a while called Rogue Shadows. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd kind of share with you guys the progress that I've made with it. Now, I'm only going to be showing you the sneak mechanic. I'm not going to be showing you the um, aggressive uh, mechanic or the passive and, uh, and, and aggressive mobs mechanic. So as you can see, when I get close enough to any mob so in this case uh, i've got a skeleton or an archer and a uh, zombie foot, foot soldier over there and um, when i get close uh, within 20 block radius of an actual archer they can actually detect me and then immediately i i start showing this little um sneak bar now as long as i'm in the uh, the yellow and the purple the purple is just like a warning that i'm close to becoming uh, detectable as long as i i'm you know, in within that and the within that parameters, I am kind of safe. I can sneak around, um, and I can do stealth kills, and I can do all kinds of of sneaky stuff. Okay, so let me just quickly really kill the zombie while I'm in stealth, just to show you guys how it all works. So if I just kill him, you can see I, I've been able to give him a one hit kill. Okay, now the moment I walk too fast, you'll see that the bar will go into the red, and I'll get a big flashing red warning sign uh, and a custom uh, sound but you'll also see that the mob will become aggressive and start attacking me but I'm not going to show you how, how that works not today okay so um, you'll see I've actually based it on the stat.walk one centimeter prem, um, scoreboard objective instead of the uh, crouching because the crouching and the stat.walking does exactly kind of the same thing um, and it just allows it to be you know, if you move slowly enough, that is fine. Okay, cool. So let's just go into the red so you can see what happens. Okay, warning, you'll see he gets his bow and he'll then start actually attacking me. And you'll see I can no longer do a one-hit kill. He'll actually, um, he'll, he's actually now much tougher to kill because of the alarm going off. And there we go. As soon as he's killed, the alarm stops going. Right, okay, so what I've actually done is um, as I said, I'm, I'm using the stat.walk one centimeter parameter, and I've got a hopper clock over here that does one pulse every one second-ish. Uh, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, yeah, so about a one second-ish, okay? And every one second, uh, all right, we're just going to go into game mode zero, uh, one. So every one second, I just reset everybody's stat.walk to zero. Okay, so this gives me roughly how many centimeters a second I am moving. So when I'm walking normally, you'll see that I'm moving at about 260, 270 centimeters per second. When I run, okay, I'm doing about 380 to 360-ish seconds. And when I actually sneak, you'll see I never actually reach 100. I reach about... 80 85 okay so this is a kind of a very reliable way to determine how fast i'm moving and if i'm in fact moving slow enough not to be detected at the moment um i've not built in a uh, a light detector that tells me uh you know if they can actually see me but that'll come that the next iteration will be way 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 more advanced okay um right so what happens is when i have a mob Okay, um, that, oops, I am, my, my, my near mob score is set to zero when I'm nowhere near a mob. Okay, so I'm, I'm zero at the moment. The moment I come within a 20 block radius of a mob, that mob will then uh, do an execute command that will give me a near mob score of two, right? So as long as I'm near that mob, I will always have a score of two, right? Um, <clears throat> then I run a whole bunch of commands and that at the end of the command I actually remove one point from the near mob so that mob will give me a two will give me two points um, and then I will remove one point so I will always be either have two or one point when I'm near a mob when I'm no longer near a mob that um, remove one point will set my score back to zero so that it doesn't actually flag um, the sneak okay that's it and the um the actual uh, zombie he is a foot soldier and he's got a 16 block so he'll do it within 16 blocks okay so when i'm walking 
um, I'm actually constantly trying to play a title command. Now it'll only play this title or show me this title when my walking score is minimum one and no more than 20 and I have a near mob score of at least one. Then it'll play the one green block, which is that one block. Let me just sneak, which is that one block. Okay. So when my score is 20 to 40, it's two blocks. When my score is 40 to 60, it's three blocks. When three blocks, and when my score is uh, blah, 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 what is where are we now? But anyway, when my score is up to, to uh, 80, it goes purple. Okay. So actually, let's just show you the scores okay so uh, the green the yellow the yellow is um, 81 to 120 the purple is 121 to 200 and the red is 200 and where are we where is the red? 201 okay so um, that'll show the red so it'll in sequence show all of all of the um, titles based on how fast I'm moving then what I'm also doing is I'm doing a main command uh, I'm showing the warning so you'll see the title here was oopsie the title here was a big flashing warning title okay I'm playing when the player is uh, to you know walking at a speed of 200 uh, this comparator will then output the signal directly into this play alarm uh, sound so it'll play sound alarm now this is a custom sound that I've actually embedded into this map okay so there's a map when you download it this will work for you okay and it'll play it when anybody has a score of 200 and is a near mob minimum one okay that is it I mean the other the other way how it goes aggressive and so forth I will show at a in another video but this is all I've kind of wanted to show for you so let me just really take you through one small test level uh, to show you how this will actually then work okay so basically what I need to do over here is I need to um, go and steal the power crystal okay so the power source so as long as I'm sneaking I'm on game mode zero. So as long as I'm up, as long as I'm sneaking, up those archers up there will cannot see me. So I can actually assassinate them if I want to. So let me just assassinate. Where is he? I can see you. There we go. I can assassinate them. Um, and then I can. Okay. So up, up, up. I've alerted somebody. I've alerted something. What did I alert? I will only alert. Uh, there you can. You can see I alerted that zombie over there. Now the zombie's gonna come for me. Okay, so I'll only alert uh, the the mobs that is closest to me. So this mob over here was not close enough to me, so I did not alert. Oh, he was, he was, he was, he was. Okay, there we go. So I can kind of kill them very, very quickly. Um, let me see. I didn't alert those ones. I didn't alert that one. I can then kind of steal the power source. Did I take it? Yep. And it turns off the thing. And then I can get out of here. All right. Oops. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Where is the exit? Oh, and you can see there they come. There they come. And he's, he's going to fire on me. All right. Yep, he is indeed. And is there any more other zombies? Oh, there we go. Yep, and here comes the zombies. Right, now I just have to battle my way out of it. Whoops. Okay. I'm still a bit OP, but uh, as I said, this is just a, a demo to show you guys how this can actually work. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Ah, okay. That's it. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.